Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today I'll be discussing one of the most important issues in the First Nations community presented by the Assembly of First Nations, also known as the AFN. The issue is regarding how might the underfunding of First Nations schools increase the academic gap between them and students attending public schools. Starting off with the facts substantiated by the AFN, the chronic underfunding of First Nations schools had created their educational funding fall short $747 million just in the 2010 and 2011 school year, leading the total difference to become much over $3 billion since 1996. This, just in itself, can be a huge factor in determining the future of the community. Furthermore, the students were stated to be missing many 21st century skills due to the lack of resources available. These schools didn't have the basic requirements like libraries, technology, physical education, and extracurricular activities. Due to the absence of these essential resources, students were behind in key academic courses by many grades with inadequate teacher support. Another reason why underfunding increased the academic gap between First Nations students and provincial students is because not only was the counseling given to these students insufficient, it was also from unqualified people. This led to a catastrophic ripple effect of students going into phases of emotions, starting with anxiety to depression and sadly resulting in suicide. According to Statistics Canada, Suicide rates among indigenous people aged between 15 to 24 is about nine times higher than the rate for non-indigenous societies. In another study, five out of 100,000 non-indigenous people commit suicide, while 35 of every 100,000 indigenous people commit suicide every year. Last but not the least, Canada's federal government is responsible for making First Nations school funds sufficient and equivalent to funds given to provincial schools. This is justified under the Constitution Act and also the newly known First Nations Act. In my opinion, officials should work closely with First Nations and the AFN in order to achieve balance and equality. According to an NDP critic for Indigenous youth, we still see inequality today. Since then, there have been numerous promises and numerous plans, and yet, the gap continues to widen. Jazakallah khair for listening to our presentation.